guys and welcome back to another vlog. So first things off, the weather today is so nice. Yesterday we went for a walk and we just decided to like just stay around longer, just like sit in the park and it was so nice. So today we're gonna make a picnic and I'm just gonna make like a quick salad. I wanted to have something with some good protein in it because I just did a pretty intense workout. It was like an hour long and it was really hard. So, um, yeah, this is just gonna be my next meal after that. And then we're gonna go to the park and it's gonna be great. So for this salad, the first thing is just like a can of chickpeas. I'm just putting everything into like this one container with the lid. It's like one of the only containers we have with a lid. Um, and then just gonna cut up this whole cucumber and make a really big salad. Oh, I dropped a cucumber. I do have to tell you, it is like life changing to have a fully functioning kitchen in your home. Like that makes all the difference. Okay, that's all the cucumbers. Now I'm just gonna add tomatoes. I'm using like four, but it really doesn't matter. All right, this is what we have so far. Just lots of veggies. Um, I'm gonna make a bit of a dressing, really just um, olive oil, salt and pepper. That's it, that's all. So we're gonna do a little drizzle of that salt and pepper another thing I like to put in to salad dressings is just like any dried herb because it's like so convenient I always put like dried parsley into salads so I just put in a bit of this and I find that when I'm putting this in it kind of just like rehydrates in the dressing. So it works out pretty good actually. I'm gonna put in some capers. And then just give it a good stir. Oh, some dill would be nice. This is our little package of dried dill. Maybe it'd be easier just to shake it. Hey everyone, so we made it outside. It's so nice. It's way warmer than we thought it was originally and oh, it's crazy. There's so many people outside, but really like nobody's distancing, nobody's wearing masks which is a little concerning, but we found our little home in the park. Nobody else is picnicking, so I'm really happy that we had the idea to do this because it is warm. Like, I think spring is coming. This is our little setup. We just got some wraps to go with the salad. Um, that should be really nice. So it turned out to be such a lovely day and it seems so crazy because it seemed like almost a few weeks ago we, there was like two feet of snow here that we were walking through. You have to move your legs too. So yeah, we just came and hang out. I was doing some knitting and I'm actually reading The Fault in Our Stars in German. Um, just for like some practice. It's kind of difficult and I don't know all the vocabulary in it, but it's a good challenge for now. In Canada back home, it's still like minus 20 most days. Um, usually February is like the coldest month in Alberta and 
it's so crazy that it's still February, but we get to like come and sit outside. Like, I've never had that before. So it's really nice. And yeah, honestly, just the rest of today, I'm just gonna be like relaxing as much as I can. Tomorrow we'll be getting back to work, working more on our kitchen and organizing it. So I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, so guys, my legs are so sore from my workout yesterday. Oh, I can't believe it. But it makes me feel good because then I just know that I was working hard and so it's not like a bad thing that my legs are sore, but man, it's hard to get around now. So I got up a little earlier today, or what's early, like 7.30 because I thought maybe, oh, today our kitchen guy is gonna come. What do you call him? I don't know what the title is. Is he a kitchen guy? Um, to fix this. Because when they installed the kitchen, he just said like, oh yeah, I'll be back to fix that. No idea when he's coming, you know. So we're just gonna be prepared <laughs> in case he just shows up one of these days, who knows. So yesterday at the park was actually so nice. I didn't want to film too much because I really just wanted to enjoy being there with my husband and it was really nice. We had a really nice time. There was only like one other couple that we saw picnicking and that was it. There weren't a whole lot of people staying, just lots of people walking around in the park. We did see the police driving by, I guess just like making sure people were keeping their distance but my husband was saying that it's really hard for them to like say oh you guys aren't keeping enough distance because technically it's like a family can stick to themselves and they shouldn't be more than one and a half meters to the other people but the problem is is like when you're walking past people you're passing them and they're coming like so close to you i've noticed that so much here like in Canada, if this was the case, you know, one person would go to one side of the street and the other person would go to the other side of the, not street, the walkway. But here, it's like me and my husband, we were like walking, I, like I was walking behind him the whole time because there were these groups of people taking up the whole walkway and like not moving over at all or giving us any space. And so, like literally walking through the park, we were the only ones wearing masks. We saw, I think I saw one other woman wearing a mask, but everybody was like looking at us because we were wearing masks and it's like, we're still in a pandemic people. But yeah, that's just my rant for the day. It feels good to talk about that. Okay, so what I want to do today is organize the kitchen a little bit. Like, we have all of our stuff in it, but it's not as organized as I would like it to be. I'll show you guys some examples. Alright, so in this drawer, we're keeping all of our spices here, but those are going to be moved because this thing over top of the stove, they have to finish it and we're getting like a spice rack thing in here they said and so all of our spices or at least most of our spices will go here and then and then this drawer will be mostly empty to put other stuff in right now all of the workers kept all their like extra stuff in here for when they're coming back so when they do come back and actually finish the kitchen then this will be free so what I'm kind of debating now is I kind of want to move their stuff just in a box or something so that we can actually use that space. Yeah, it's been a bit of time since they've installed the kitchen and I don't know when they're coming back. So I'm probably going to move their stuff just into a, like a shoe box or something and we'll keep it there like set aside for them. But, you know, we got to move in. Yeah. 
Christmas things. These are all of our Christmas decorations and this <laughs> is going to be their new home. This is way too big to fit in our cabinets. So I'm gonna put all the stuff in these smaller baskets into the bigger basket and then we can have these two baskets for kitchen things. Coffee. Food magazines? I don't think these belong in the Christmas box. All right, so Christmas fits in a box. Great. Where am I gonna put this now? Does it fit on top? enough for now. Alright, so now we have some lovely empty baskets. Um, I think I'm gonna make one of them for all of our like medicine and stuff because right now all of our medicine is just in the shoe box. <laughs> Meds. So I'm gonna take that out and then I can put the workers things into the shoe box and we'll just keep it in the spare room for now. Honestly, I don't even know where this stuff comes from. Me and my husband have both had like a few medical things. No, not like medical things, but like my husband like cut part of his finger off and then had to like go to the hospital and it was this huge ordeal and he has all this like intense pain medication for it, but like we still have it. And like, I don't know what to do with it because like, do I save it for the next time he cuts his finger off? I don't know. I feel like since we've been married, just so much medicine accumulates and I don't know what's necessary and what's not. You know, I feel like, like for my family back in Canada, our medicine cabinet was just like multivitamins and like ibuprofen and maybe some Tums or something. And that's it, but here we are. We have like so much stuff. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> gonna put like their stuff into a box I'm just gonna 
gonna put this in the spare room. Okay, so because this is situated right beside the oven, as you can tell, drawer, oven. It makes sense to put the um, claws, <laughs> oven mitts <laughs> in this one, and like um, hot stuff. Uh, <laughs> whatever, I'll just show you. Here's our beautiful collection of oven mitts. We have strawberries and we have blue. In the back, because we have space, I think I'm gonna put our aprons there. So we have some lovely lemons. What else do we have? Um, we have this thing. It's a table runner. Just because there's space, I'm gonna put it here. And then these things are hot pads. That's what I was getting at before. They're hot pads. Hot stuff. There, this can go there, these can go there. Um, I know I have another apron. We have a Hudson's Bay apron. Where is it? Where is it? We still have that one basket. What can I put in a basket? Um, okay, no, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put like kitchen utensil tool things in here that we don't use very often. So like this, our like immersion blender, we're not using as much anymore. So that goes in the basket. Perfect. Hmm. What else can we do? Oh, I have this one big pot. So this is a very special pot from Hungary. Um, I would like to keep it in the kitchen. <sighs> of course, I don't know where. I think I'm actually going to like fill this with some towels that we don't use as often. We'll put our nice napkins in here. Because that will save some space. Great! Okay, I think already that's like making a pretty big difference. It's a way better use of space. Because the other thing is we have like so many cabinets now in our kitchen. We kind of want to store some other things from like the living room in here because then that can just be like more clean and open. Um, so I'm glad that our big pot can finally fit in our kitchen. I have to go now. Um, I have to learn some German. So I'll be back with you in a flash. So if you made it this far in the video, then first and foremost, thank you so much for watching my video. I already know that it's going to be a little bit long, um, but that's okay. That's fun. So if you made it this far in the video, then be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and ooh, we should leave a comment. If you made it this far in the video, leave a comment of your favorite meal, whether it be breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It doesn't matter. Um, I would like some more ideas on what I can cook in my nice new kitchen. And so I would love for you all to participate and to give me some good ideas. 
I'm really happy about how our kitchen is and how it's turned out. This is something that we really have been waiting for for a very long time since we moved into this flat, which was four or five months ago almost. Um, so that's really exciting. There's some big things happening. Um, if you want to see more like behind the scenes, then be sure to follow my Instagram. I will have it in the description because on my main channel, I do want to focus more on like fitness and health and not so much like home decor and stuff like that. If you're interested in that, then go follow me on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.